last time on Zelda Skyward Sword. Okay, one hand down. Perfect. Okay, this is so far easy peasy. Lemon squeeze. Oh, get, get back. Okay. Oh, I don't know how I hit that. The power of the lemons are flowing through me right now. <laughs> Calm down with the monkey noises, Gruus. My goodness. Again? Not sure what I'm supposed to do about this giant monster thing breaking through the seal. I got nothing. You want me to throw some, like, wonder glue on that? Gorilla glue? Godzilla glue? Oh my god. I'm gonna need some Godzilla glue. Okay. Alright, welcome back. Another day of Zelda Skyward Sword. Uh, last time we left off in the sacred temple here. We summoned this big block of stone that doesn't do anything right now. And that big block of stone summoned a big boss with big toes, if you remember from last episode. And he, he was outside the doors there. I'm not going to go back out there because that scares me. Uh, Granny here is now standing, no longer sitting. So that's a development. That's cool. Glad that she still has full use of her legs. Um, yeah, she was up here. Can I just like take her spot now? Can I just sit in the light and be all dramatic? Like, ooh. No, no, that big stone kind of takes up my my view I would have had. Um, oh yeah, and what's in here? Oh, no, that's not, no, not you, Fee. Oh, the, the cat is here too. Hello, Olive Garden. Are, are you here to, to greet me? Oh yes, I wanted to look in here. Oh, that big stone's in there. Olive Garden, can you get off my keyboard, please? You're going to stop the recording. Okay, hold on. Kitty? Hold on, kitty. There you go. Let's not stand on the keyboard. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. We're like a minute in and already the cat's making herself known. Uh, last time, though, we were told to go up into the sky back to... Okay, kitty's back again. Uh, back to <laughs> our, our home because we need... Now that we found... What, what were we finding? We found like Zelda... Oh, I'm saving the game. I didn't even mean it. Kitty, stop biting stuff. My goodness. Get off the keyboard. Jeez. <laughs> All right, all right, this is going well. This is going smooth. This is smooth as butter. I don't want to save and quit. Oh, I can't go to the sky. That's why I didn't see the button. I guess I have to go outside first. I'm going outside first. Anyway, we were supposed to go up into the sky back to my, my home planet because we're now collecting music. Oh, Groos is here. How are we doing, Groos? You good? Are you angry at birds right now? Oh, come on. I couldn't do a thing. I'm totally useless. Kinda. Ooh. There he goes. He can run very fast. Oh, and he's punching walls. Okay. That's one way to let your anger out. Is he... He looks like he's singing, but I don't hear anything. Is he like... I know I made a joke last episode that he's gonna make some like really great Midwestern email music. Maybe he's doing some like vocal warm-ups for that. Maybe. I don't know. Should I interrupt him? I should probably interrupt him. I mean, he got a whole cutscene for a reason, right? Hey, Groose. I'm just dead weight. What kind of use is that to anyone? Well, papers won't go anywhere. That's... That's neat. You keep all the paperwork in in line? Oh, he's just saying the same thing. Okay. Uh, okay, Groose is just going to be punching walls for a bit. I'm going to go be the hero of the world potentially and I need to find a save stone where I can actually I think yeah one of these two I need to use one of these two. okay so let me walk around real quick and find one of those save points so I can actually get back up to the sky All right, is there a save stone oh there's a save stone there it is oh and there's my my buddy uh G Gorko Gorko hey I remember the name look at that great Goron I found some. Wow, what did what did you find? Butterflies? Oh. oh yeah, he was talking about butterflies last time. Look, those butterflies that respond to beautiful tones are swarming all over the place. This has to be the right spot. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this could be a problem. I can't carry a tune. I could not create beautiful tones if the wild animals threatened to roll me down a hill. What can we do? You know, I've, I'm trying to think. Have I ever been threatened to be rolled down a hill? I don't think so. How do I... 
How do I use my harp, I wonder? Okay, oh, did I just scare? Okay, no, good, they are still there. I was afraid I just scared them all away. Oh, this could be a problem. I cannot carry a tune. I could not create beautiful tones of wild arms around the throw me down the hill, walk to what to do. Okay. Um, I know I got a harp at some point, which is not, it's not there. Oh, that's an empty bottle. Can I not use the harp? Hold on. It's right here. A traditional instrument. You need to learn a song before you can play it. Oh. I guess that makes sense. Uh, I guess I'll be back then. Okay, maybe we'll come back. Maybe I'll forget in two minutes about that, but maybe I'll be back. Okay, we're finally going to the freaking sky. I found a way up. That took a while. There we go. So what I'm told from the people down below is someone up here knows something. So I'm going to have to start breaking kneecaps until somebody starts talking. Uh, or maybe I could just ask around to be a little more polite. Uh, two options. We'll see which one I, I go with. We got options though. So who around here would know a thing or two about songs? Well, there's a lot of lights in the sky. Can I get rid of some of my... I have like things everywhere. Okay, I guess not. My, my little blue lights down there, I cannot get rid of right now. That red light is blinding. You can, you can get a tan from these things. My goodness. All right, uh, let's start with this guy because he's the closest uh, and he's got some cool hair, I guess. Do you know anything about hey! songs? Jacamar? Jacamar. I, think I have not talked to you in quite a while. I think since episode one. Uh, hey, big elk, go kills, come home. That's, that's good. I heard you were the one who found my right girl. There. Thanks a lot. Uh, Mrs. is grinning from ear to ear. I I do like that. Okay, very good. Um, is there anybody up here? Just just while I'm here, we might as well check. Is this, does this go faster? Does jumping up a ladder make me go faster? Jumping up a ladder seems like a very unsafe thing to do as well. Not sure if that's safe. Okay. No one's up here. Okay, I guess I'm moving on to the next. Okay. Da -da. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask around town, see if I can find some answers here. Maybe this guy knows something. The headmaster. You think the headmaster would know something? Oh, it's got a little speech bubble. Hey man, long time no see. How you how you doing? Oh, you're back, big girl. Good to see you're still in one piece. Uh, how's it going down there? Are you any closer to finding my Zelda? You know, my daughter, who I'm very calm about being missing. Hmm, I see. My dear Zelda, things must be terribly trying for her down there. Still missing. Bummer. Uh, it can't be easy for you now either, can it? What? You want to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony? That's private. Uh, you know I'm not much of a singer. Uh, <laughs> sing it! Uh, just, just lyrics. We'll give him a break. Just just lyrics. Oh, you just want the lyrics. Oh, what a relief. You really put me on the spot for a moment. I believe the lyrics go something like this. Oh, youth. Guided by the servant of the goddess. Jeez, this guy takes his time. Unite earth and sky and bring me a slushy and light to the land. I added that that part there. Uh, that's the first part. But as I recall the second verse to the song, oh jeez, he's, he's still going. I hope I don't have to actually remember this and like pick the right answer. Uh, oh, you showed the two whirling sails the way to the light tower, and before you, a path shall open and bring me two slushies and a heavenly song. <laughs> you shall hear. Oh man, can you, can you imagine just like adding in like just requests <laughs> in the middle of the song? Uh, the light tower mentioned in the song is a real place. I'm sure you've seen the tower in the plaza. I don't know a thing about the whirling sails though. It sounds like the song is suggesting that if one shows the, these whirling sails the way to the tower, something will happen. But how do you go about doing that? And what does it mean? Two whirling sails, hmm. Two whirling sails. All right, well, thank you for the help, sir. I, I think we'll call that help, and I'll get your slushies as soon as I can. So, but don't don't hold your breath, though. It might take a few business days. Uh, whirling sails. It makes me think of... Uh, we, we recently, we got a, a 
bag of air, which I cannot pull out here because I'm indoors, and this little guy here will get blown away, and we don't want that. We don't want him to be blown away in his cute little feet. Uh, maybe if I go outside, I can find something. Is it something in town? I'm assuming it's something in town. Okay, uh, oh, and I don't need my bug net. I have, yes, this thing, the gust bellows. Oh, let's reset it. Okay, so if I just go around blowing everywhere, eventually somebody's house will come down and eventually whirling sails will... Oh, hold on. It's a windmill. Is this... Surely it couldn't be this easy. Hello? Right? Did I find a whirling sail? I didn't even get to blow someone's house down yet. Or does this just keep going? Just as a whole... Oh. Oh, it turned blue for a second there. Did I have to go all the way around? Okay, hold on. Alright, we're coming back around. There was that one point where it turned blue after it pointed towards the, the tower there. So I just want to... Just want to carefully... Easy does it. Bam. First try. Okay. <laughs> Put that away. Uh, okay, we got one. You said there was two sails. I'm assuming that this is... It's doing something. Maybe this is just like a side mission. Oh, there's another one way out there. Okay. Oh, God. I forgot there was a flying house around here. That's only mildly terrifying. Can I, like, blow the house? I wanted to blow a house down. Is this the moment? No. No, the house is uh, impervious to wind, apparently. Oh, there's that little cat that attacks me, and I threw it off the edge. You remember that? It's back. Okay. Well, hopefully, it, it has a short memory and doesn't remember that I threw it off the edge. Yeah, we'll just hope for that. Anyway, here is the other windmill, which I'm hoping is the thing mentioned in the song. Hey, man, you're over. You're over here now. You were on that tower before. I guess you're allowed to walk around. Oh no, it's hey! missing its. It's missing his pinwheel. Okay, Jacamar, what's a big wheel? Okay. So you're curious about that windmill, huh? Pretty smart design, gotta say. See, you can turn the windmill so that it, it always catches the wind no matter which way it's blowing. Genius. But, well, there used to be this little propeller attached to the windmill so that you could turn it. Is a propeller the best thing for like a turning apparatus? Like maybe a lever or a wheel? But, okay, wh whatever. The thing flew off ages ago. It must have dropped down to the edge of down beneath the clouds. Oh, no. Are you suggesting I have to go down there and get it? Or can you just make another one? Because you made the first one somehow. Uh, the windmill's been sitting, uselessly, uselessly sitting there ever since. I've been capable of making a pinwheel. Uh, Fee's here, and she suggests, I highly suggest you retrieve the windmill propeller from the land below to reorient the windmill. Thank you, Fee. <laughs> Thank you for that. Wonderful advice. Love it. Okay, uh, you want to know if I could fix the windmill if you brought back the propeller? I want to know if you could just make your own propeller. Uh, <laughs> well, if I had a propeller, I could probably rig something together to get it back there, sure. Okay. All right, looks like we're going back down to get a propeller. No problem. Uh, how would you even go looking for the propeller in the first place? Once someone falls through the clouds, it's gone for good. Well, you should tell that to Groose, who is still down there crying and punching a wall. Hang on. Come to think of it, Gondo at the scrap shop told me that someone in his family once used a flying robot to haul junk back from beneath the clouds. Oh. Okay. But we're talking about a tale that's been passed down a lot over the years. I wouldn't put much stock in it. Okay. Alright, well, you know what? Let's... It's all the stock I got, so... Let's check that out. Let's find Gondo. Gondo. I think was his name Gondo. I'm calling him Gondo. Uh, at the shop, which is somewhere in the middle here. Is it that building? What is this building? Who, who lives here? It's just just as open. I guess we're opening. Is this right? Oh man, I like this music. Bum 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 bum. This is not the right place though. Good music, wrong place. If I had a dime for every mu every time I had that happen to me, I'd have more than one dime, which is a little odd. Good music, wrong place. 
Okay. Uh, here we go. Here's the shop. This looks familiar now. All right, and he is right here. Here he is. Hey, man, you have a flying robot that I can use just hey. per chance. Hey, kid, what's up? You look like you need to get something off your chest. Uh, I think I know what it is. You've got a favor to ask me. Yeah. Huh? Huh? <laughs> it's about my old robot my grandpa used to tank around with. You probably just came here to make fun of the crazy junk guy for believing his grandpa's stupid stories, huh? No, that that's very presumptuous of you. Um, well, get in line. I've heard it before. Wait, that's not why you're here. Uh, you say you need to pick something up from the clouds below with this robot. Uh, you know what that means? That means you believe in my grandpa's story, don't you? Um, yes. I sure do. Well, I'm happy to hear that someone else believes me, but I don't think I can help you. You see my grandpa's old robot? What's it called again? Stones? I'm just gonna call him Stones, because that's all it is. Oh, I remember his name's Scrapper. Uh, Scrapper? Stone Scrapper. Okay. He may not look like much these days, uh, but he was an amazing robot once. When you called him, he would go anywhere and haul anything. Sadly, as you can see now, he's just another busted old hunk of junk. But old Gramps did tell me this. If you can get him working again uh, with the extract from an ancient flower, it's like oil to the sky. I've never heard of, much less seen such a thing. Do I have an ancient flower? Take mine! I didn't even know I have it. Well, you have one? You're kidding me, that's amazing. Where did I get an ancient flower from? <laughs> so this is an ancient flower. I can feel some slick oily stuff coming out of the stem. Uh, this will, with this we can fix the scrapper. Wait right here, I'll have him up and running in no time. It's gonna, you're gonna need a lot of oil. Maybe some layers of paint. Ooh, there you go. Now you gotta loosen up those shoulders. Oh my god. Wow, he, he came to life. He's got his own little song. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Uh, thank you. I got a full tank of energy and I'm ready to carry anything. Well, we're gonna need to get some more of those flowers, I guess. The LD-301S Scrapper. Aha, uh -huh. who is this green-clad individual of small stature? Okay, okay, man, come on. <laughs> come on. Lay, lay it off. I just I just ancient flowered your butt and this is how you you talk to me? Whoa, it talked. Can you believe that? Uh, I guess I really did fix him. Uh, this kid gave me the materials I needed to fix you. Go on, say thank you. Say thank you. Say it. Say thank you, scrapper. <laughs> Are you sure it was him? <laughs> well, then I extend my reluctant thanks in a gesture of obligatory gratitude. Ver chonk. Okay. Why is this robot giving me sass? Uh, hey, now watch it. That's no way to talk to someone who just saved your life. Anyway, this kid wants to haul some stuff around, and you're going to help him. This individual may have restored my operations, but I am not inclined to offer assistance. Oh, wow. Oh, serving children is a very low in my task priority. <laughs> Was Fee here? Fee, can you slap this robot a little bit? Just let him see my ways. Uh, Master Big L. Materials from the windmill have been yielded a signal. How? How did a pinwheel yield a signal? <laughs> Whatever. That you may search for your dowsing ability. Use it to locate the fallen propeller. Okay, I now have propeller sonar. Okay. Uh, however, it will not be possible to carry the item in your pouch and return to the sky. Who are you? Don't tell me Scrapper's got a crush on Fee. Your name is Fee. Should I call you Mr. Fee? Are you looking for something, Mr. Fee? Okay. Can you... You're laying it on a little thick there, Scrapper. I understand. You're, you, at your request, I will carry anything regardless of weight or destination. Wow, he, he's simping for Fee over here. Okay. Fee is speechless for the first time in her life. Master, I am uncomfortable. <laughs> we have the means to bring the propeller back to Skylab. You may immediately begin your search for the windmill propeller. Great. Master Short Pants. Oh, this, this little scrapper just called me short pants. I offer that's that's pretty. I haven't heard that before. That's good. I'm, I'm wondering. I'm thinking who I in my life I can call short pants and not get beat up though. The the list is zero. Uh, I offer my assistance. I can now detect Mr. Sphee's th thought waves. You can detect thought waves. Okay. Should you need me, ask Mr. Sphee to call me, and I will arrive with haste. Short pants. Okay. Wow. So how do you plan to recover the stuff that fell beneath the clouds? You know you could always ask the fortune teller over there. But he's got some kind of goofy looking. Oh, you know, he is kind of goofy looking, but it looks like when it comes to finding things, he's right on the money. 
Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm using my dowsing ability for pinwheels, and there is nothing in here. Okay, not a big surprise. Man, all these guys have... Oh, okay, I guess he's just going to talk to me. I was going to say the other individuals had missions as well, it seemed, but... Now I'm talking to this man and his aqua blue eyes. Uh, oh no, hang on a second. I see you looking well these days. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you found the time to gather all the... Variety of magnificent treasures. Come, come closer. If it's treasure you seek, I'll use my mystical vision to find the answers for you. Okay, thanks for the advertisement. I was about to walk over here. Um, you there, I see you, yes. Good job, I'm standing right in front of you. Um, come allow me to foresee your fortune. It will cost just 10 rupees light the way long you guys, blah, 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 blah. Okay, 10 rupees. Do you hunger to know what these big, lovely eyes will behold? <clears throat> I wouldn't say hunger is the word. 10 rupees, okay. So what information do you seek? What is it you want to know? Um, I guess it's... I think I want treasure, because I want the pinwheel, right? Is that considered a treasure? A uh, treasure? How you wish me to gaze a crystal ball for sea treasure? I must confess, I know little about treasure. Ah, uh, well, I can give it a shot. Okay. Okay. Ah, I see many things, all is revealed. Yes, a towering forest, sandy dunes, a blazing mountains, monsters. These are the sources of treasure I foresee. Which source of treasure do you want to hear about? Uh. uh m mountain. Mountain, I guess? Smoldering and sulfurous. Yes, I see a blazing mountain. There you will find lizard tails and something called Elden Ore. Elden Ore can sometimes be found digging in the ground. Yes, dirt, tails, blah, blah. Okay, these are not things I'm interested in. And then there's an amber relic and a dusk relic that can be found in every re region. Interesting. For some reason, the dusk relic can only be found during some kind of trial. And my eyes see that the goddess plume is the rarest of all treasures. If you find one, you'll be the luckiest man alive. I think I have a goddess plume, don't I? I think, I think so. Uh, that's all I can see. Okay, good luck, young man. Okay, so I didn't quite get directions on where to go, but do I have a goddess plume? I That does sound slightly familiar. There it is. I do have one goddess plume. I am apparently the luckiest man alive. But I do have to throw another 10 rupees at this guy so I can select where to next instead of treasures. Um, okay, hold on. Please. Okay, yes. What information do you seek? Where to next? How about that? Magnificent. Come closer. Let us see what I can see. All right, we'll try one more time. Ah, I see many things, all is revealed, very good. Ah, right, so you're searching for something. Yes, a treasure, you might say. Uh, allow me to gaze into your future. Uh, I see a propeller falling through a sea of clouds, this sounds right, is discarded left to the elements. I just had a brain blast. I remember a propeller sitting on the ground in Elden Volcano. That's probably what I need. Oh, oh, and he also says, I see a mountain of fire, a temple on this burning mountain. What you seek is just down the mountain from this temple. Okay, so we realized at the same time, maybe maybe I'm a fortune teller. I'm just, I have a delayed signal. Uh, a burning mountain, could such a thing truly exist? Oh, let me tell you, yes, it can. Now, that is all I see for the moment. The eyes grow weary. Should you lose your way? Blah, blah, blah. Good luck, young. Okay, I've just thrown 20 rupees at you. When, in the end, the knowledge was with me all along, I just needed to think really hard. All right, so let's go down to Elden Volcano and find that propeller. Oh, there we go. All right, we have just ascended to Elden Volcano in front of the temple, as you can see. I be oh, these guys are here. I believe I saw the pinwheel down in this direction last time. Oh, yep, there it is. It's just sitting there. Look at that. Wow, who knew that this little thing would come in handy? Well, there it is. Hey, Fee, uh, this is the wind propeller you were searching for. It is now possible to retrieve this using the robot whose services we're we have enlisted, and also is creepily interested in me. Uh, would you like me to call the robot? Unfortunately, yes. As long as he doesn't call me short pants again. I will send word to the robot using a telepathic transmission. <laughs> okay, just a convenient thing that I didn't know you had. Wow, is that a whistle? Oh, he's booking it, look at that. 
bum, 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 bum. I admit the song that comes with him is catchy. Mistress Fear, I hope you weren't waiting long. So, Zerbert, you want me to carry this? I'll attach it to my head and have an even bigger propeller. Hey, Master Short, oh, he called me Short Pants again. <laughs> All right, funny man. Hey, Master Short Pants, you're in my way here. I say get out of the way. Wow. Wow, this guy. He will not be getting a Christmas card, I'll tell you that. Uh, I'm waiting for you up in the sky. Don't take too long. Okay. Nice. All right, Propeller is up in the sky. Fee and I are free from being assaulted by short pants comments. Master, I suggest we also return to the sky and collect Propeller as soon as possible. Okay, that's a swell idea. Oh my god, why am I standing this close to the edge? Big L, you daredevil. Okay. Um, let's get back up to the sky. We're gonna do that real quick. Oh, oh hey, there he is. All right, we're back up in the sky. My little robot buddy here, who doesn't like me very much, um, has a propeller. So we're gonna fly back up here. Hopefully he'll just kind of know where to go. Or do I have to like direct him? I don't know. Oh, guess if we get close enough, that's close enough. Oh, oh, she's still, jeez. I almost body slammed my face straight into the ground. I was not ready for that. All right, thanks, buddy. You know, it's a pinwheel. How how heavy could that thing be? It's supposed to be manipulated by the wind, right? Uh, here's the windmill propeller. Zazat. Oh, jeez. Left a thud. If you need me, feel free to call. Okay, for Mistress Fee, I will travel to any destination. Wow. You are just really laying it on thick. Okay. Okay, well, thank you. I guess I should have just said thank you. Whatever. Um, whoa, isn't that the beat-up old robot from Gongo's place? Wait just a second. Is that... It is. It's the windmill propeller. He's more amazed that I found a windmill propeller than an ancient robot being resummoned. That thing is supposed to have fallen below the clouds. Are you saying the whole story handled down through the Gongo's family was actually true? Somehow I get the feeling that all this is some elaborate prank, but I guess I'll try to fix this thing. Jeez. It, I, I was just reminded of an elaborate prank. I'll have to tell you in a second. Uh, this goes in here. I just crank that a few clicks. Bing, bang, boom. And there you go. Uh, anyway, uh, elaborate prank. He says few. Uh, that ought to do it. Uh, if you find some way to spin the propeller, you can probably turn the windmill around. Hey. Honey. Honey. <laughs> oh, no. I think I might have promised my wife I'd fix our cupboard. I swear that woman's always looking for somebody. Well, see you around, big L. Okay, good luck with the cupboard. Uh, yeah, anyway, big, big prank. Here's here's your story time, like half an hour into the episode here. So if you made it this far, this is your reward. Um, this this last week at work, um, I was working. And I, I work in, in, in retail, so like with the general public. And at some point, somebody from the general public thought it'd be funny to leave one of those those prank fart bombs in in the store. One of those that's like on a timer. So like you like break the chemicals and the chemicals build up pressure until like the bag pops. Um, and it happened to pop while I was standing next to it, unknown to me. Oh my God, what is this? Wow. Um, so yeah, somebody left a fart bomb, s started the timer, left, and then sometime later it went off while I was standing next to it. And the entire store smelled like rotten eggs for a good few hours, while I also smelled like rotten eggs and was furiously spraying Febreze everywhere <laughs> for for a good hour. Um, it, even, it even cut into my lunch break. I was supposed to be on lunch, but instead I was spraying Febreze around the whole store because everybody was smelling rotten eggs. Um, so thank you to whoever did that. If that was uh, one of you watching the video, uh, thank you. Please don't do it again, though. It was funny the first time. I don't think it'd be very funny the second time. Um, so yeah, fun, fun stuff. Working in, you know, working in retail, as many of you might know, you see a lot. But fart bombs were, it was new. It was new to me. I've heard the legends. I, I've known it possible, but I just never experienced it myself. And being covered in fart juices and like fart crystals. It was like a combination of juice and like crystals, like like sugar crystals. Um, just absolutely covering the shelf. We had to like take everything off that shelf and clean it. 
Mm. It's just making me frustrated thinking about it. Uh, anyway, we summon this thing out of the ground. What is... Can I do anything with this? Hello? There's a, there's a light up here. The light is, for some reason, just shooting off in that direction. Uh, Fee, do you have any hints? We did something. You called for me? Uh, advice. Yes, Master. What information do you seek? A hint, perhaps? That sounds good. You can use the treasure and materials you find during your adventures to enhance and upgrade your items. This is not the advice I was asking for. Okay. This seemed like the place to go, but I can't do anything. Okay, hold on. What does this say? Let sound the goddess song beneath the light's radiance unto her chosen hero shall fall a piercing ray of guidance. Okay, hold on. This seems to be the place. Can I? Can I Can I use my harp now? I know a song. I do know a song. Look, it's right there. I know a song. Can I please? A traditional instrument. Wait. I must learn a song before I can play it. I've learned a song. This divine tune is meant to be played on a harp. Okay. So I have a song. I have a harp. Uh, okay, hold on. I need... I'm missing something here. Oh! Oh, what button was that? I just hit... I hit the X button. I didn't know that did that. Okay, we found the harp. I've been able to pull it out. I'm not going to attempt to strum it. Is this working? I, I'm making sounds. Okay, hold on. Do I have to like stand in the light? Oh, I do. Let's go! Come on! <laughs> oh, that actually worked. <laughs> Oh man, I was just like, wake up, tower! Oh man, I thought I would have to be like slow and in time with something, but no, you can just blast it. Man, that's that's nice. Okay. Oh, now I have to be in time. Okay, hold on. Uh, there we go. Now I have to be careful. Oh, Fee's singing. Look at that. singing voice kind of scares me, or singing face, I should say. All right. You're doing great, Big L. Wow, that was nice. Okay, oh, now we're spinning. All right. Convenient, that just lines up like that. Oh my god. Did we just hyperbeam the, the clouds over there? It, it appears we did. We we just hyperbeam the clouds and that for some reason has an effect. Mm -mm. All right, master, there is a high probability that this beam of light will lead us to clues. <laughs> Mm. Man, I love our talks. As to the whereabouts of the free, three flames, uh, I recommend that you investigate what lies at the end of this beam of light. Mm. Wonderful advice. Um, but we're going to have to follow that wonderful advice next time. Um, we, we've had some progress. We made some progress. We, we spun some pinwheels. We got called short pants more than once. Um, I told a story about the fart spray. Um... It was, this was, I think this was a good day, and we hyperbeamed some clouds. Check, check all that off the list. Bam.